This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're gonna be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today, Tyranitar V up on the menu. As always, be sure to subscribe, I'm posting daily Pokemon TCG content on this channel. And today Tyranitar V will be able to shine in a tag team meta, there's still a lot of tag teams in the format. We one hit KO'd him thanks to single strike crush, 240 damage and we also are able to accelerate thanks to Hondoom single strike roar. This deck actually will become better when uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex sees the scene in Chilling Rain because we hit for uh, yeah Darkness Weakness, which is awesome. There's also still a Single Strike Urshifu V in here just so you can punish uh, stuff that are weak to fighting. Also uh, a one hit uh, prize power Pokemon uh, Stone Journey, very good against uh, yeah stuff like Altaria, stuff like uh, mm, Decidueye. You, you have of course your Wall Breaker with that and you have two copies of Ordinary Raw to shuffle it back. What else is here is the Tower of Darkness, three copies of that in combination with Capture Energy. So you will be able to get, uh, you always want to go first with this list. You have Quick Ball, you have Capture Energy, you have Tower of Darkness. Get yourself some Hunt Hour set up on the following turn. You accelerate energies to one of your attackers. And the good news is that Capture Energy will be able to uh, yeah, get at least an energy required for all the attack costs. They all need one Carlos energy at least, which is super duper awesome. And uh, what else is in this list is Mute to protect our bench and then the, the two prize support Pokemon we got to know and love, Aldego is the Dene and Crobat V. There is the Cape of Toughness to put the HP of Tyranitar to a, a different level. Sometimes you can have uh, 280 HP and that's going to be very impactful. And we're going to be seeing how this list fares today. So this is like the uh, the smaller brother of Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. Uh, people are always playing the Single Strike Urshifu VMAX, but I think Tyranitar V does have its good things going. You hit weakness against Tyranitar, uh, actually against Dragapult V uh, Max, and you also are uh, a different typing, which is definitely interesting. You're weak to grass, grass doesn't see a lot of play, so there's a lot of good things to love about uh, Tyranitar V right now. Okay, let's see here what the opponent will be playing. And uh, we are able to go first. Well, thank you very much. We go first. Hello. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. We have a communication. Already interesting. We have a uh, first turn attachment. Potentially we can go for the Danny. There's a lot of great things we can do with this opening hand. Still not a supporter of turn. Either we go for Tower of Darkness. I wonder what we should do here. We <laughs> Yeah, this guy does have a tree retreat cost. So that's going to be interesting. It's probably going to be the way we are going to be attacking today. Okay, we start, we're up against Tobikis, what? Okay, this guy's probably needing some setup so we could potentially like knock out this Jirachi if he doesn't get out of the active, we'll see. Okay, Tower of Darkness, we will go for this one. Let's go. We can get a capture energy, that's actually not too bad. Probably should have gone for a different strategy to be honest, but it's okay. Capture energy, let's get our uh, little friend Han Dower out of the list. We already have an air balloon, we can shove that one back in, Cape of Toughness. Puts this guy to a ridiculous amount of HP. I don't know if we should do it, maybe he's gonna Marnius, maybe he doesn't. Whatever's the case, <laughs> this could still be turning out okay. We have Stone Journey, hopefully taking at least one prize card. We will have enough HP so the Togekiss will not be able to knock us out. This is going to be, oh there's the Marnie, I expected the Marnie which is super duper awesome. Probably should have played down that Ordinary Rod now that I think about it, but it's still okay. I don't mind. Let's go. Okay, another Hundower, Hundower. Okay, fine. Uh, we are only slapping 60 damage, so that is a little bit of an issue. The good thing is we have Tower of Darkness to draw some cards. Hopefully the opponent will whiff on a switch on an Air Balloon, and then we're good to go. So Stone Journey can take the first prize card here. Okay. I think I will put back the Hundo Hundoom, because if we draw that, we also are able to attack and knock this guy out. Seems pretty good to me. Corby Knight, is there a bronze lung in the house? Okay, there's a bronze lore in the house. Okay. 
I don't know, Tor. We will take the first prize card, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, one energy onto the uh, Zashian as well. Okay, communication. That's exactly what I wanted, to be honest. Okay, let's go for this. Ta ta. We will go for communication. We will go for a Dedene first. Dedene in the house. Sounds good to me. Or a Crobat. Yeah, I think I will go for Dedene first. Next, we ordinary rod some stuff back. There we go. The Handoon goes back. Let's go for the Dene. The Dene in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The Dene in the house. Okay, <laughs> interesting development. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, I think I will go for research here. Triple D's. Cape of Toughness. Sounds pretty damn awesome. Then, the Bruno activation. Quick ball as well. Okay. This is gonna be our one hit KO machine. So, probably will snap it down right here. Yeah, we'll snap it down right here. We will go for quick ball, getting some stuff out of the deck that we don't need. The Mew is not relevant in this matchup, so let's get the Mew, let's discard it, go for a research. The only thing we need is one little Handoom to get this going, or all the Handooms in the world. Why the hell not? Handoom, accelerate, single strike energy, they're, they're all in there, that's crazy. Otherly bonkers. Okay, attachment over here. Sounds like a good idea. We're gonna be setting this Tyranitar up in no time. And next turn we actually have all the Handooms, insane. Land pull! So our Stone Journer actually is able to knock out the Jirachi. And we do have that Cape of Toughness going around, so we have ourselves 160 HP remaining. That means Togekiss is not able to touch us. He's probably gonna get a Cheryl here, so that's super bad. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We have a Tyranitar with four single strike energies. Do we one hit KO? Four single strike energies, that means we have an additional 80 damage output. Then we are able to knock out the Togekiss VMAX. Okay, we need this to get knocked out and we need uh, an, an urn of vitality. That's all we need, right? That's all we need. I wonder if he's gonna get something like uh, boss's orders. We probably need the Cape of Toughness onto our Tarantar, otherwise this Zashian will knock us out. Interesting thoughts, for sure. He's not gonna be knocking out the Stone Journal, which is nice. So he's probably gonna have to get Cheryl next turn. So he's not gonna be able to go for boss's orders. He cannot boss and Cheryl in the same turn. He could retreat, that's something he can do. I wonder if he's gonna have another attachment. Okay, there's a, whoa, there's a rope. We don't have boss's orders. I don't want any of these guys getting knocked out. So potentially he's gonna attack with, yeah, we need all the energy acceleration. One, two, attach of turn, will knock out. Yeah, I'm gonna give him one little hand hour. If he knocks him out, it's good. If he doesn't, it's also good. There's a Corvi Knight. Will he find Corvi Knight? Okay, attachment. Will he have find Corvi Knight VMAX? We still have communication, so we can potentially go for Eldegal's bossing. That seems pretty damn good. We can boss up the Bronzong, maybe? Quick Ball, Crobat, Dedene, whatever. We already have taken the first prize card here, which is super duper nice. There's another Bronzor. What is in this discard pile? Two Togekiss V. Interesting. Clutch. Is he gonna clutch us? The defending Pokemon can't retreat. He could potentially clutch us. Yeah, he's going to clutch us. Our uh, fella is now stuck in the active position. Completely stuck. We have more stuff. We have air balloons where those came from. So we're going to be attaching over here. We're going to be evolving. He could potentially knock this guy out. We could potentially find ourselves a way to switch. Let's go for this Handoom. We will go for this Handoom as well. Or do we? <laughs> okay. This is interesting. We have two Handooms here. We can never ever retreat. So even with even with an air balloon, we don't get there. So we potentially just gonna go for this. Single strike roar. I'm actually don't wanna use the single strike roars just yet. Although we probably will have to. 
Single Strike Roar over here. Uh, yeah, research, I guess. We can go for another Single Strike Roar, but the problem is that uh, we will have too much damage onto ourselves. Earn of Vitality, super duper good on that regard. Tower of Darkness. Oh, here's the Cape of Toughness that I actually wanted. That's super nice. That is super nice. So, if he doesn't knock us out, it's good. We have the boss's orders in hand for next turn. Seems okay to me. Yeah, it seems okay to me. What if he's gonna do? He can clutch us again until his heart is content. Maybe he thinks we have some switch cards left, but we have a uh, Tarantar which is able to. Uh, he's gonna be slapping for 240, right? That's 200, 260 HP, yeah, we still survive. Okay, cool. Okay, there's a couple of Cheryls down on the discard pal. That's actually one of them. Let's see what he does. Will he find, oh, he has the Togekiss. If our fella goes down here, we could potentially retreat him, go for Urn of Vitality and knock out the Togekiss VMAX in one shot. I know it's a little bit crazy, but we're gonna be trying this out anyhow. So we attach here, we retreat of the turn. We have two Handlooms, right? We only need... We need all these Single Strike Energies onto our Tarant RV. So knock out this guy. Okay. We will try that. We will try that. Or we can just gust this guy up and then do it later with another Tarant RV. Interesting thoughts. Max Glide. So he will take whatever he needs. I think in this situation, it's a nice idea to just gust up the attacker. This guy, Zation, 230, 230 Brave Blade, I think I will knock out the Corby Knight here, seems like a nice plan to me, <clears throat> seems like an, unless he's playing Tool Scrapper, let's go for this, come on, okay, Capture Energy, that's actually not bad. That means we can save our HP for later. But if we have 40 damage onto ourselves, we have 280. That means Brave Blade is not gonna get there. Brave Blade is not gonna get there. So we go for this one. Yeah, let's go for that one. We go for the capture energy over here. Next turn we retreat it. We have the Urna Vitality anyhow, so that's not a big issue. And we probably will be able to do it again. Interesting. Yeah, we will need to retreat this one later. Capture Energy. We don't need any of these cards, although setting ourselves up with another Tyranitar is actually not a bad idea at all. There's one more Urn of Vitality. Let's just hope we don't discard that one. Single strike roar on this guy. Yeah, let's just hope we don't discard this one. Let's, maybe we can draw it out. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of stuff we don't want to discard, but sometimes you have no choice. 300 damage output. Okay, lots of cards we were expect. There's thing uh, you're on vitality and the prize cards as well. LD Ghost, also not too bad. Okay, that's cool. If our fella goes down, we still have Urna Vitality. He could potentially go after one of our Hondars, but we still have an uh, Ordinary Rod. He's probably not gonna be leaving our uh, fella alone. We also have Marnie. I wonder what he's gonna do. He could attack with Brave Blade 230, which is not gonna be cutting the deal. And we have access to LD Ghost's boss, and I think we still have another boss left where, the, where that came from. So it's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. We also slap uh, enough damage to knock out a Bronzor, Bronzong. Okay, here he comes. Probably gonna go for Aldegal's gusting up the Curvy Knight once again. Sounds like a great plan to me. And then we just need to gust up one more time with Stung Journer onto uh, the, yeah, he just slaps 20 damage. We're probably gonna be, we could Marty. The problem is this guy has a single strike energy. Otherwise we could have knocked this guy out in one blow. Technically we could retreat our Tyranitar and start setting up another attacker on the bench, waiting it out. Interesting thoughts, that's for sure. Okay, let's go for 
air balloon here. Eldegal's boss. Yeah, now it doesn't matter if he goes for Corby Knight VMAX. I really want to know what is still left in the deck. Well, we can figure that out with Eldegal's, uh, Eldegal's boss. Uh, probably will not need another Handoom. This guy is slapping for 120, which is enough to knock us out, which is a shame. We could retreat, gust up with this guy, then reaccelerate later. Does he have bosses orders left? Doesn't seem like it. Really want to know if boss is still in our list, otherwise we might actually discard it. Ah, nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Let's just go for this one. And knock him out once again. Let's hope the cards we discard are not the crucial ones. Four cards. Yeah, these are not the crucial ones. Perfect. These are perfect, to be honest. We have double urn. We have a Tyranitar left. This is good. This is a good way. He still needs to take five more prize cards, which is crazy. And we have an attacker here, which is potentially able. <laughs> to retreat and he's already able to slap 100 and okay he just slaps damage i don't even know if our uh, last boss is in the deck we didn't discard it it could be on the bottom of the deck but we still top deck and have the tower of darkness by our side so uh, yeah tyranitar super duper nice super duper nice we'll see what we are able to find here we top deck the ordinary rod interesting so in that situation let's just go for quick ball yeah, probably should have uh, <laughs> promoted this one, to be honest. Yeah, probably should have done that. Yeah, but we do have ways to get our boss, so that's super duper nice. Uh, okay, we draw our boss out first. There we go. We get the boss, we use Urn of Vitality to get our single strike energies back in the deck. We only need to have one, so we single strike away onto our stone journer and stone journer is now going to be an attacker coming out of nowhere we're going to be gusting up the little jirachi we're going to be retreating and that's going to be well played we could have actually knocked out the togekiss in the active slot we potentially could have if we uh gunned with our strategy and uh, manually retreated stone journer use double the urn of vitality we could have actually one hit killed the uh, uh togekiss vmax because our damage output would have been 320. But there were multiple win, win cons in that scenario. So uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying Tyranitar V. It's very nice to see that you're able to hit weakness against Dracapult VMAX and your damage output could potentially be 320. If you can get all of your uh, single strike energies onto a Tyranitar V. Super duper nice. If you want to even go for higher damage output, you could potentially uh, think about adding a Vitality Band in certain matchups. But well, let's see here. We are up against Fairy. <laughs> Fairy. I miss you, fairy. Uh, yeah, this is a strange opening hand. We'll see how it goes. Okay, this one, this one, this one, and pass. Look at that. <laughs> we were able, he's gonna think he's playing single strike Urshifu, but that's not the case. It's totally not the case, it's just going to be... Yeah, next turn we are able to attack because our hand actually has two single strike uh, Handooms already in hand. So, Evolve, Evolve, Bruno, attack. Whatever's in the active, it goes down. It's going to be Whimsicott, freaking GX. Yo, does Gathering, what? Yeah, this guy's gonna go down rather nicely. Okay, another Hunter, let's go. Well, sometimes these hands are ridiculous. TCGO sometimes gives you horrible hands and sometimes it doesn't. So look at this. There's oh, there's two of them. Uh, actually, there's one uh, single strike energy prize. That's bad. Um, I probably will draw an energy, I hope. But just in case, we're gonna be playing it safe. We're gonna be attaching it all on this guy. And we're gonna go for a Bruno. Well, Bruno. Another one of these. This is a one prizer, which is something really nice. This one, her balloon, and uh, quick ball. I'm actually gonna go for a quick ball here so we can actually draw ourselves some more cards. Crobat is very good for that. 
Legend draw. This is a very consistent list. I like it. So we draw six cards. We even have a Marnie for next turn. But for now, it's gonna be attachment on here on this guy. This guy is gonna be our next attacker. Let's just go impact blow because next turn we're not able to use that attack, so we need to get out of the active thanks to air balloon. What do we get? Eldegoss. Yeah, not what I needed right now. Next turn we're gonna be going for Marnie. If he doesn't have Porygon Z right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards in hand. Oh, 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 oh boy, what is this guy gonna do with seven cards in hand? Will he find his one and only rare candy Porygon Z? Or will we Marnie him out of the game next turn? We will be able to slap more damage. Oh, they just can see. Our deck is way too consistent. Look at that. Second turn, crazy damage. You can actually potentially think about adding in one single strike Urshifu VMAX for a huge one hit KO potential. Just a little tiny one. Maybe you swap out one ordinary rod for one single strike Urshifu VMAX. That's actually not a bad idea. So you have a one one line just in case of emergencies. But you want to go through wall breakers as well. You would like to go first? Yes, thank you. Okay, what do we have? And the reason there's also a lot of ordinary rods in the list is because of the fact that you sometimes discard your own deck. Well, 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 what is this? Probably gonna be some sort of a welder build, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a bad hand to start off with. I'm actually gonna be saving our Eldegoss. We will slap down the Dene. Is that a great idea? How many of these in here? Three. How many capture energies? Four quick ball, four capture energy. I think that's the best option right now. Three Urna Vitality and uh, only one single strike energy. Believe it or not. Only one single strike energy. This is gonna be a hard battle. We could potentially attach already, but we have more Urna Vitality where those came from. But yeah, sometimes the prize cards don't go your way. Sometimes it is like that. Come on, man. Air Balloon, lots of Urna Vitalities. That's interesting. Okay, air balloon here, tower of darkness, we quick ball away. These urns are very useful and I really don't want to get rid of them. Sometimes you have no choice. Ah, sometimes you have no choice. Quick ball, hand tower number two. Although, why do we get so many Hundowers? Why? Three urns down the drain, super bad. But if we can get one steady attacker, it actually will help out. It will help out. Crobat. Yeah, we are able to establish, but there's a lot of stuff priced, which is something I don't like at all. Another Hundower, that's actually not bad. Lots of hand hours, but no single strike energies. What to do about that? Tyranitar. Capture energy. Another hand hour. Yeah, this is going to be a, a tough battle. Tower of Darkness. Come on. Yeah, we have a hand doom at least. We can maybe attack the following turn. Who knows? Yeah, this is a uh, interesting. Maybe he was welder. You never know. Maybe he was welder. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe we find our last urn of vitality, so we can actually attack here. Or are we just gonna go for the first attack, the Kragalanch, and discard some of the opponent's resources. Yeah, let's just hope we get some good prize cards because this is not looking good. I know we've established our board, but. At what cost? Why did it take everything? Switch card, that's probably not the card he wanted. Another Jirachi switch, yeah, just whiff it out, man. You can get yourself a switch. You can get yourself a, just a little switch. He's having debates. That's cool, no Elder. Cherish Ball, oh, that's bad. <laughs> Cherish Ball, the Dene, and Charizard is here. Well, they're typically against these tag teams, you have a good matchup, but in our, in our defense, we need to find our last urn of vitality. That's super hard. This oof. And now with the big charm, we have to go overboard. And uh, little does he know that our energies are potentially priced. So there's Mew too. There's a Crobat. Okay. Jerry Ball to die. Okay. So this guy needs to find. Oh, Incineroar. Interesting development. Oh, to die. Whoa. Whoa. 
Holy macaroni. Double welder in this car, pal. But still finding welder. <laughs> oh god. What? How is this even possible? In normal circumstances, this would be okay. But it is not. We will never be able to KO this Mewtwo. We will have to gust up this guy first. Accelerate energies nice and slowly. Then gust this guy up. Oh boy, this is going to... Well, he doesn't have any Wilders left, which gets me a little bit relieved. I will give him my Crobat. My Crobat. Okay. What do we do in this situation? Houndoom. Ta -ta -da -da -ta -ta. Hopefully he doesn't have boss or we insta-lose. Single strike, roar! Okay, we can get our good friend Tyranitar, another one out of the list. Ta -ta -da -da -ta -ta. And we can go for capture energy. Getting our good friend, maybe Stone Journer as a one prize machine. Yeah, we probably need two Tyranitars here. We need to find our Urn of Vitality. It isn't that hard, right? Probably not that, that hard. We will do this. Let's go. We don't need Mew. We don't need Mew. I don't think so. Come on. We draw some cards. Urn of Vitality doesn't show up. Research or Marnie. Research or Marnie. With this, we got seven cards while we shuffle. With this, I'm just gonna go for research. We need to find everything. Cape of Toughness, Urn of Vitality. And the boss is ours for next turn. It's not bad. That is not bad. This is our last Urn of Vitality, by the way. Ugh, super scary. Super scary. He could potentially reset Stantos, but I doubt it. Probably will need to use it right now. But I'm gonna wait. I, I don't want him to know that we don't have any other energies. Don't want him to know that. So his thought process will be different. We are gonna go for boss's orders on Charizard, Urn of Vitality, take our uh, single strike cards from the discard pile and go from there. Yeah. So hope he doesn't have boss's orders. We are at least safe from a flare strike, right? Flare strike 230. He has used three welders. Bench is full, so no other welder action, which is super, super duper nice. So. There's a switch to the Stellar Wish Jirachi. Okay. What does he need? Does he want to find Reset Stamp? Does he find Boss's Orders? If he finds Boss's Orders, we will have to say goodbye to this one. Presumably. Do you have any other attackers? He can actually get rid of Special Energy with the Crushing Punch. Maybe he's stuck with Jirachi. Let's hope so. Of course not. Scoop up that. Another Jirachi. Yeah, he's looking for Boss to get rid of our energies. Which is super duper bad. Well, that's why we waited with Urn of Vitality. So, <laughs> that was not a misplay. That was uh, very well taught. And we will need to take from the prize cards our, both of our single strike energies. It's like 50-50 or something. Because we take three prize cards. There's six prize cards. Should at least take one, right? Oh boy. Maybe he's stuck in the active, that would be like a dream come true, but then we need to manually retreat, which is not an op not uh, an issue. Maybe we top deck our uh, other our air balloon. Stellar Wish again, come on, with the boss. Cherry Ball, slam down another today. Cherry Ball today. Oh, Flareon? Wow, what does Flareon, <laughs> Flareon GX even do? What is this? This attack does 29 for each fire energy in your discard pile. Well, with zero in them, I am not afraid too much. Here comes the Dene. Is he gonna slap down the Dene? Does he really wanna find his... Oh, Eldegoss. Welder. Okay, that makes sense. Welder onto Charizard, that's good. That's very good, because we will get rid of those energies instantly. Okay, Tower of Darkness is gone. Super duper bad. Switch. And the Mew too. Ooh, will Mewtwo be able to KO us? Three energies only. Yeah, Bright Flame. Discard two energies from this Pokemon. That's super huge. Yeah, hopefully he does that. That means this guy has used three Welders and Eldegoss. Yeah, Bright Flame, that's awesome. Thank you. Let's just get rid of that annoying stuff. <laughs> this is a weird game. Okay, we have our Tyranitar. He's eagerly 
awaiting. Okay, we even have a darkness energy, so potentially we could not knock him out. We snap to 60, unfortunately. So we're gonna go for Urn of Vitality right now, and it's the only thing we can do. We're gonna single strike. And he will need to find Welder next turn. That's the only way. Maybe it's priced, maybe it isn't. We go for... Do we go for Capture Energy? Probably not. Let's just go for an attach of the turn here. A Darkness Attachment. We go for... Losses Orders. Knock this guy out. We will go for Quick Ball. Let's get rid of this one. And we will save our Eldegoss in this process. Seems like a nice plan to me. And then go for... Single Strike Crush! If he whips Wilder, it's good. Come on, Single Strike Energies. This one! Ah, oh, dang it. This one! Dang it. This one! Oh, I whipped all of them. I whipped all of them. That's how it is. <laughs> I rip. Well, sometimes, this, as you can see, this deck has a downside when you don't take your single strike energies from the prize cards. You are not gonna be able to have enough energies to last you through the game. But maybe this guy was gonna have one of his welders being prized. And then he's not gonna be able to attack. Now we can two shot this new tube. Which is also not a bad idea. We slap 280, unfortunately not enough to knock out the new tube. We don't run tool scrapper, we don't run tool jammer. And we still have 280 HP, which means he will need to use the attack. Flare Strike, so he will need Welder, yeah, that's what he needs. Prey, well, our luck was not good. Taking three prize cards and taking zero single strike energies from them, and all of our Urn of Vitalities are in the discard pile, that means, oh, energy to his Jirachi, retreat to the Mewtwo. Great capturing the Danai, what is going on? Another Danai in the house. Okay, that's three welders down. That's one. Wow, I don't even know. What is this? This is the GX move. Wow, is that because of all the fire energies in this car pal? Eight. Okay. <laughs> uh, he probably think his last welder's probably priced. Uh, that's crazy. If only we had one single strike energy from the prize cards, we would have won. We would totally have won. Well, in this situation, there's no other way. There is no other way. Capture energy. This guy for a means of it. Yeah. We have game in hand. We can actually knock him out if he whips on Welder. But he's gonna, probably going to go for Flare Strike, is he? Yeah, he can go for uh, Outrage. So let's hope his uh, Welder is still on the bottom of his deck somehow. So let's just go for <laughs> Crash Lange. That's the only way we can actually win because if we go for a single strike crush, he can outrage and we are instantly destroyed. Maybe we go for, instead of not attacking, this guy is going for the Crackalange for the Jirachi. But then we leave the space open for another potential DNA. But well, we do have two bosses orders, so let's just take some prize cards and they maybe take a single strike energy so we can one hit KO him later. Let's go for it. Come on, Craggalange! Discard Welder, please. Discarding the Welder, yeah! Oh, boy! Yeah! Mm. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, huh? No Welders, no Eligos, no Welders, no Eligos. Ha! How about this? And we have our Steel Strike Energy, so this guy is able to one hit KO anything in the game. And we still have an Air Balloon left, so we can just research the hell out of this madness. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Destroy the hell out of the like button. This is the best excite uh, excitement I've had in a long time. I know we had a terrible start, but on the other hand, Tyranitar is good. It came out of the pit of hell, and now it is able to get rid of all the welders from the opponent. We actually got rid of Jirachi, so he wasn't able to Stellar Witch, because I did see in his discard pile there was already two Jirachis in here, so... No welders, he has just one attachment. With two attachments, what does this guy do? Outrage and that's that. Look at that. We have 260, 280, 300. 
Well played. You have a good deck. Here he comes. <laughs> no, he didn't even attack. Oh, let us do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video of Tyranitar V. If you did, be sure to demolish that like button. Single strike. It's going to be awesome. Also, be sure to uh, subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content on this channel. It's easy to do. S subscribe and uh, click that little notification bell and you get notified when new videos are up on the channel. Also, go check out PoTownStore.com. The best place for uh, yeah, everybody to get TCGO code cards. You can get yourself Eternus codes. Zation codes, trackable codes, Crobat codes, whatever codes you need, and uh, even the latest booster packs, they will have Chilling Rain up on pre order very, very shortly. Be sure to check the website out frequently. Use the coupon code ZABUSTCG for 5% off your next order. And also go check out cardmarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to get rid of my bull cards or just to get some cards for my uh, DAX post rotation. So you guys should do that as well. And there's a five euro coupon code that's going to be appearing on the screen right now for one lucky person. If you are that lucky person, be sure to let me know what you're gonna buy. This is for new users. So if you never had uh, the uh, idea of going into card market business, just go to card market, make a profile, Get the 5 euro coupon code registered and uh, buy something with 5 euros and see how you like it. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG epicness. I'm out. Peace.